In this video, we'll learn to describe position and direction using words like right, left, above, under, in front, behind. So looking at this picture we have in front, I can see the sun, a tree, a car, a flower and grass. On the right of the car there is a flower. So on the right, on this side, on the right hand side. So on the right of the car there is a flower. On the left of the car, there is a tree. So right on this side and left on the other side. Above and under. I can see that above the tree there is the sun. So the so if I try and draw a line here, so the here is a tree above the tree on top there is the sun. Underneath the sun there is a tree or under the sun, there is a tree. Under the sun, there is grass. Under the sun, there is a car and a flower. So that's above and there is under. So I drew this line and you can use letters of the alphabet as well. Since A is the first letter of the alphabet, that comes first. And then U is towards the end of the alphabet. So that comes next. So the sun is above the tree, the sun is above the grass, the sun is above the car, the sun is above the flower. Under the sun there is a tree, there is grass, there is a car and a flower. In front, in front of the car in front of the car, so looking at the front of the car, there is a tree. So that is in front. Behind, so looking at the back now, not the front, looking at the back, there is behind the car. There is a flower. So front and behind. In front relates to the front. Behind relates to the back. And as we said, above comes first and then under comes next in the line. Then we had right and their left. So here is how to use right and left, above and under, in front and behind. Use these examples to create more sentences looking at objects around you, in your house or outside. 